Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where we're gonna... Okay, I picked my I picked my mercenary. I'm just gonna... Like, I won't make you guys watch all of it. Um, but I picked... Adani the Resplendent. Uh, in part because she has beautiful eyes, but also because apparently... You get Jason's Golden Fleece from her. And she apparently is part of the Greek Heroes set, which I didn't know existed, so that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, you get 30% of all resistances if you get all of them. And, so, and it's a rhyme. Here we have a symbol of authority, the mark of a king, and a shiny golden wall between a wearer and a spear. <laughs> or the wearer and a spear. I like it. And, uh, yeah, she's a high level one, so I'm kind of, like, she's too... She's tier four, so uh, I'm hoping to get some extra info from her, but we'll freaking see. Uh, regardless, here she is. I'm not gonna kill her. I'm gonna knock her out and take her onto my sick ship and see if she'll marry me. Oh, she's got a wolf friend. That sucks. If you try hard, you might make it to where I am today. Oh yeah. Oh, did I? I was like, I didn't kill her. Oh! Oh, I did kill her. Oh, I did not mean... Oh. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Do I... Oh. Do I... Oh. Do I... Oh. <laughs> I didn't think I'd kill her, but I also don't want to, like... Uh, I don't want. I don't want. Hey, let's see. That's the next. Give me any cultist information? No? Okay, then I'm gonna... Okay, I, I know it's dumb, but I don't want to kill her. <laughs> so I'm not. It's, it said with the, uh, with that one stealth, with that, with the one stealth option, like the one where you just tap the button instead of holding it. It was such a small portion of her health bar that I thought the full-blown one wouldn't kill her, but I guess my new assassin's bonuses are very nice. <laughs> very nice indeed. Okay, unfortunately, I... Oh, Coldest Clue! I got the Coldest Clue this time! Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, so that worked. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I was gonna say, unfortunately this time I still wasn't able to not kill her, so that's a bummer, but now I have the cultist clue, so that's what I needed. Uh, rip, rip her, rip, rip Adonis. Uh, but thank you. You were apparently high enough, uh, for me to get this clue I needed. La la! Unveil! Cosmos fights for Athens, and so Athens fights for Cosmos. But, but, uh, Cosmos wants both sides to die. Calculating mysterious everywhere and nowhere. None were as feared as Iobates of Lemnos and the bloodthirsty mercenaries fighting in his name. Under his careful planning, those these rogues became a force for terror and oppression across the lands. And as mercenaries knew no borders, he was able to attack where other soldiers simply could not. How about that? <laughs> okay, now let me look at this. Let me look at... That looks really cool. What does it do? Warrior damage and total armor. Oh, man. I'm gonna need to find... Others... Who have that... No, you... I mean, it's Achilles' bow, so I mean, it kind of would fit in the hero's set, but. 
Maybe it's only like, um, like tier four and above. Genshi King body armor. I assume it, it's gonna be a, a an armor, not a weapon. The Wrath of Persephone, or Persephone, and it's gonna be a legendary, I assume. Hmm. I hope I haven't like accidentally missed or sold, you know, stuff. Sold part of the hero set. Oh! Atalanta Sandals! Living the thrill of the hunt. Sworn oath, uh, oath, an oath to Atalanta to never to marry if she could gain but a fraction of her speed. Her prayers were answered, her feet becoming a blur while she landed devastating attacks on her opponents. Stay one step ahead, move like the wind, and strike true. Okay, that's cool. Uh. Oh, a trident. Nice. Anyway. Bye. I gotta go. I made the whole city angry. I didn't really mind, because I thought I, I thought I was gonna have to do some more mercenary hunting. So I was like, yeah, I'll just get everybody angry at me, and it'll be fine, and I'll get more mercs to come after me. But, here we are! Uh, let's mark you. Oh, I, I, I think... Not mercenary. I, I know which island he's on because it was one I was walking around trying to find... Uh, to see if the mercenary I was looking for was going to be there. But, luckily, we've been there and we can just hop all on in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then we're going to go get... It's fast as <laughs> sorry. It's late. It's not it's daylight savings time I had to, but so like it's really super dark now. Like twenty four seven. Except not twenty four seven, just at night. At like five. Oh my gosh, she's just chilling in a tent outside. It's perfect. Uh the islands are slightly weakened. <sighs> Oh, maybe that might not have been a good idea. I did that on purpose because I get that I get the sneak buff at night, and I get the murder buff at night too. Okay, he's still in the same area. I feel like he senses me. <coughs> maybe I should get the. Oh, is he being? A... He's currently being attacked. Hey, I'm supposed to murder him. Oh, jeez. What are they doing? Are they... A They're attacking him! I think they just left him for dead! They did! Oh my gosh, do all I have to do is walk up and confirm the kill? Because that would be real dope. Are you... Are you serious? Are you serious? My last cultist. Oh my god. My last cultist is somebody I didn't even have to kill. His own guards like turned against him. I wasn't even I wasn't even I wasn't even here. I just I just got here. That was amazing! That was amazing and somehow extremely fitting and also kind of just like a, like the exact opposite of fitting, I don't know. A new quest. What is this new quest? Hmm. Oh my gosh. I can't, I was like, I was like, no, no, he won't die. Like, I bet you he'll just, um, like, uh, be, like, impervious to harm, essentially, you know? 
Uh, but no. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, he got <laughs> It wasn't even a, hey, can you knock him out for a bit? It was... Wow, I didn't even have, I didn't have to, he was dead. All I had to do was confirm. Oh my gosh, this armor is gonna look so good. No, why is this armor have to look so good? Oh, freaking love it. Freaking, I love it. Oh my god. Okay, it's kind of hard to see at night, but oh my gosh, I knew I would love it. I think I do, I do still like the pirate one better as well as the, like the perks definitely, but I've been wanting this, I've been wanting this armor set since the beginning of the game. <laughs> And I finally have it! Yay! Hang on. Let's do it. Let's do it a little bit of justice and look at it in the daylight. Anyway. I'm still kind of blown away. I did the last cultist! The very last cultist that wasn't like the ghost is... Oh my... I can't. I, it's just too much. Too much, honestly. Oh yeah, this armor is real nice. I knew I would like it. I knew I would. Alas, we're wearing the pirate armor. Still, we have all the legendary sets now, which is really exciting. And I feel like I should have gotten an achievement. Although, okay, to be fair, we've killed, we've gotten all the ones from the cultists. Apparently, there's this whole other Greek heroes set. Is it zero out of five? Oh, but equipped. Okay. I was like, I have more than that, but... I really hope I didn't, like, accidentally sell one without realizing... That it was... You know... The hero set. Or maybe I did, and I was just like, Oh well, I'm never gonna do it. <laughs> okay, I have all of those now. And a fresh start. Well, with one cultist left alive, it was time for Cassandra to fulfill her vow to find them. She was called to the place where she learned of their existence. She'd have to go back to where it all began. Oh wow. What is... Oh, so you get like, I get like a diadem... And I'm not sure what that statue is, unless it's for like the front of my ship. Anyway, first, okay, so I had so I had to kill, and it was it was a quest that opened up. But first, I am going to go upgrade my. It was this one, right? I think so. The Forgotten Isle. Uh, I don't know if it was the Forgotten... No, it wasn't. It wasn't the Forgotten Isle. It was one over here. It was over... Was it, is it this one? Yes, the Ancient Forge. The Forgotten Isle is where the Cyclops was, I think. The new hotness. Okay, game. Any wow, that has been a lot of re revealing information lately. And... I still feel bad about killing that beautiful, incredibly strong woman because her little thing said, with the golden, like it said that she was uh, making a name for herself as the woman that would um, stand up to blows that would even fell men. And people were starting to wonder like what's that. her secret. Good. I don't know what she just said, dang it. Anyway, she said something good. And I was like, what? But. Yeah, so she was able to withstand blows, and it's because of the Golden Fleece, right? But, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We're gonna fully upgrade the spear, we're gonna be unstoppable. We're already kind of unstoppable with this freaking assassin armor. If I ever play this game again, which I think I might, honestly, just on my own, um, I'm gonna doubt do New Game Plus and keep all my gear and own the crap out of everything. <laughs> I come here in my assassin armor. Forge activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronicity. Contact engaged. And 
come for the full spear. Oh yeah, now it's like black and gold. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it matches my armor. It's like black and red. Yes, legacy restored. I did it. Ah! I've been doing this game for so long. So long. I was see. Let's see. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Oh, game so far. 82 hours thereabouts. Finally got the spear fully upgraded. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna equip oh I, I'm going to equip this sword. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for this final little bit. Although part of me is wondering if I should just start a whole new episode, but I don't think I should. We just need to go. We need to do it. Plus, I don't know how long this one's gonna be. Oh yeah, look at that armor. Look at that armor. Whew. Okay, time to go back. Dog, I'm gonna beam you on the head. A fresh start. A fresh start? What a fresh start. This is not a fresh start for you. It's maybe a fresh start for me now that I'm gonna destroy the entire cult. Except, you know, you can't really destroy this kind of thing. There will always be those who carry on with the ideals of evil. But you can at least put a damper on it. You know, you can at least stand against it. Make the world a little bit of a better place. Better than sitting on your hands and doing nothing. Oh my gosh, back at the sanctuary. Delphi, Temple of Apollo. We're going back into the cultist lair. I feel like I should bring Demos with me. I feel like I should bring my whole family with me. This is like really weird. This is where I first saw Deimos, um, which I guess, you know, we're calling him Alexios again, I think. Who, buddy? I don't even, I don't, approach the pyramid, what does that mean? Oh! What? That was my mom, what? What? Why is the snake so mean looking? Do I have to fight the snake? I, do, I was not expecting a snake fight. Those are all the pieces. And I put them all on my spear. And why does the pyramid look like that? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh, we're gonna touch it. Mm. Cassandra. It was never supposed to be like this. What? Wait. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. Is he part of this? That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war. One you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you what? have done what I could not. Okay. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. Okay. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression oh. and freedom. But there is still hope. Interesting. Hope in you. Hope in the it's future all the games. you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the <gasps> past. Use the staff. What? Repair the rift in the universe. Oh, what? What is that? The world depends that was... on you, Cassandra. Stop. Oh my gosh, dog. 
you need. Okay, wait, wait. It's beautiful. What was with me seeing Isn't it? the Animus lady from Origins and wearing what a are suit? You doing here? Wearing a suit! You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? I knew. What? It's true. I was their leader, but only for a moment, it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. Wait, I... I what do you mean I can't... What? How else... How else did he come here? What? This is like a really weird narrative dissonance. Like, how else would we have known to come here? Like, all those clues, all that information, it told us it was Espacia. I mean, it didn't really, but like, it told me that. And I assume it told us Cassandra that, but like, maybe it just gave her all the clues and she decided to come here. I don't know, that's kind of, that's a little weird. It's a little weird. Also, my disc ran out of space right as soon as Espacia started talking. So I don't even know if the last 30 minutes I recorded work at this time. I'm really excited about that. Anyway, let's carry on. I was able to pause it because PlayStation's awesome. And I was able to pause the cutscene and, and do this now. Anyway, what was with the whole modern Cassandra thing? Hello? I don't know what that's about. Did I miss something somewhere? <laughs> I'm hoping I see that somewhere. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption? Yeah. Dirty drachmi! They killed people in a war they made themselves. Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was control. You can't control war. Until suddenly it wasn't. Yeah. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. What do you mean you didn't like it? Come on. She's like, she's like trying to call like, Whoa, I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. We wanted a clean thing. Okay, also the whole like um, chaos and progress thing. Okay, so the thing that the Templars want to do is that they actually want to control through, like, uh, they, they want perfect control. So it seems like Cosmos isn't maybe the precursors to the Templars. The Cult of Cosmos is, like, it's its own thing. It's like a chaos thing, and the world needs a balance between chaos and order. And the Templar order is all about order, but, like, supreme control order. Like, everything has to be perfect and peaceful and in its right place. Whereas the Assassins are for freedom... But, like, balance, they balance the order and the chaos. They aren't just, like, a force of chaos, you know? So that's interesting. This is, that's really interesting that they brought that up. That, like, yeah, like, what, what Pythagoras and stuff was trying to do. And, and they all started as one group. And then the Cult of Cosmos, like, split off. And the Pythagoras group, I guess, um, I don't know. Maybe they were templary. I don't know. I don't know. But they realized that you need both. You need the order and the chaos. So that's really interesting. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, he's impossible to control. He worked his way to the helm, and then he held even more sway than I did. Malaka. So you were after us. Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have but, always but it is me. The then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult oh, that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. Oh my gosh. Um, no, she's being really manipulative. I don't even if she's telling the truth, I can't trust her. She because of her so much stuff happened. You can flirt with her? No. You're all the same. Selfish and fucking destructive. It was different in the beginning. No, it wasn't! It wasn't about destruction. It was about redirection. The Cult of Cosmos was bad! I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades. And we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. No! The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Zemos and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. 
I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new oh. kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There will be a movement away from the old gods toward rational society, built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles yeah, I know? Say, what about Pericles? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. He trusted you, and in the end you didn't protect him. Maybe he would be alive if you'd stopped them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Vimos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We Why are you saying we? New Republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make reality. You wanna, you gonna... But it is still a dream. You can't... One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. What is... No more blue and red. Just citizens working Ooh, for blue and people. red, eh? This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't Yeah, it, it didn't happen it's not already. Crazy. It's like, enlightened. No! Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. This is insidious. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life. You can't manipulate this. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. No! Come with me. No. This future's not a no, dream. No, no, no. Um. I can't let you do this. You've caused so much damage. You destroyed Red the blue. Greek world. You've proven you have no understanding of what we're doing. I misjudged you. So did I. Aha! Oh, go! I started out with a full. Oh, that was. Oh. Oh, that was it. Cassandra, there is much left to do now. Why are you speaking with my mom's voice? Cassandra! Cassandra. A story is coming. I don't think there was actually anything. I can weather any storm. I can. I've proven that as a child. Anyway, that was really an anticlimactic ending. Like, all it took was one hero strike ability and she was gone. She was out. Also, that pyramid, I think, was just some light. I, didn't, I don't think I actually broke anything. Unless breaking the light itself was the goal. In which case, I did it. Cult Unmasked. No, I don't know. I... A part of me... Normally, when I play games, I tend to keep people alive. Like, I tend to go the Paragon route. I feel like I'm not doing... I, I, I know I'm not doing that as much in this game. I'm not being paragon -y and I don't know... Like, I am a little bit, but like... Instead of keeping Espacia alive, like, I don't know. I feel like at the beginning, even if she did try to control the chaos and destruction, like, that was a doomed, it was doomed from the outset, and she was directly responsible in the beginning. She's like, oh, war, we had it under control. I'm like, no, 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 you can't, like, you can't, like, finagle me and manipulate me with all your fancy words now in this moment. I've seen the results of your handiwork, and it was death and destruction and terror and, like, She's like, we just wanted a clean slate. I'm like, that means you have to, like, kill everybody and, like, start over? Like, also, like, if, you, if it's going to be something that's, like, by the people, for the people, you can't be controlling it from the background. The, the true idealistic, like, um, like, scenario here is, like, actually having the people, like, not be manipulated into a choice, but, like, actually letting them pick. So, or like, like decide, you know, and like, like get all the information they need and then let them make a decision, you know, and hopefully it's a good decision. You never know. But. A small golden statue. Why do I have a small golden statue? Anyway, I have the full 
demigod set now. Nice. Very nice. I have the demigod's chest plate. I mean, I already had that. Or is it... Did it like... Uh, oh, I think it leveled up. I think what happened is all the demigod stuff, yeah, leveled up to my to like one below my current level i believe i could be wrong but very nice i have the whole set now wow okay um wow i mean that was fast all that information they threw at me was like like i have to go back into the past like I, you can't know i can't do and, and was he talking to me or was he talking at the end to the woman that i met in origins the um the, from issue who's in the animus i can't remember her name um i think she's the egyptian woman um because at one point i think in like brotherhood or something like the gods or whatever the weird like ethereal precursor people are talking to Ezio, or they're talking through Ezio to Mr. Whiny Pants, and Ezio's confused about that. But it seems like Pythagoras was talking to me, Cassandra. But like some of the information was probably for the Animus woman. That was pretty mind bendy. And Cass was that Cassandra in a suit? Because like that was really cool. That was really cool. And wow, I have completed the cultist quest. And I really, really hope, I really hope you guys, at the last 30 minutes before this, where I, air quote, killed that last cultist and did a couple of other things, I think. I don't know. I hope that saved because I'll be real sad. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. If, if it didn't save... I have to go back and do some cutscene stuff. But if it did save, then I can end it here. If it didn't, I'll just edit this part out. But I'm going to say goodbye now. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. If this is the end of the episode. Um, it's been a crazy ride. It's taken so long to kill all these cultists. Um, and, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit like... I can't believe I killed Espacia, sort of. Like, it's a very unusual move for me in a more RPG-related game. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I tend to be like, ah, like, trying to believe the best in people and, like, all that. But this, this felt more right to, like, finally actually end it. It was like destroying the Reapers, you know? Or it's like, you just, you, it's what you've been working towards your whole time, you know? But, like, I think in the end, I actually didn't... Yeah, no. Anyway, I won't spoil that if you haven't played it, but I did not end up destroying the Reapers in, in a certain way. Anyway, um, I'm rambling now. I'm rambling, but this was really cool. Now, though, I can freely go do the Gates of Atlantis, so I will be doing that later once I figure out if all these episodes worked or not. So, thank you all again for watching. I do appreciate it. If you, if you end up taking off from here, I appreciate you watching everything you've watched up till now. Um, it's, been a, it's been a pretty great ride. So, thank you all again. And I will see you next time in Atlantis.